Alright, welcome back to another tutorial in Maya. So today we're going to focus on UV uh, mapping. Basically applying a texture or textures to our objects. And for this tutorial I'm going to just create maybe a simple little box to kind of show you what I mean. And for the sake of, you know, expediency and whatnot. So let's get started. So why don't we just create a nice cube. That's good, about a good size, maybe a little bit too big. So press 5 for shaded. And just look at your you know, cube here. Probably if you want, you can size it down a bit. So just go to your show manipulator tool, press R, and then just bring that down. Let's go to our attribute editor. See if we can get this all the way down to about zero. So that's pretty good. So anyway, we got this uh, we got this really nice cube. So what if we wanted to add maybe a texture to it or maybe we wanted to add make this a little bit more rounded for, you know, for a change. Like we we're going to add this to I guess maybe a level to a game or to a film or some sort. So um, one of the things I really like to do that really makes your objects do stand out is called bevel. And if you wanted to have this more of a round square, like maybe a dice or a cube, you know, shape form. Uh, you could actually make this, you know, more rounded. So if you want to do that, just go up to um, Edit Mesh in your Polygons tab, and then go to Bevel. And now it's going to give you this funky design. Now that's okay because that's just your presets. If you go into the Attribute Editor, you can see on your uh, right hand side that you have this uh, bevel, Poly Bevel One option where you can you know tweak some of the things. Now right now it's in an offset at 0.5 so if I were to take this down a bit so let's say uh, maybe 0.2 there we go now we have ourselves a really nice you know looking you know, rounded cube. If you wanted to go a little bit more uh, smaller you could go to 0.1 and you could have this. This is also doable as well and I think I kinda like this one this preference a little better so and it looks very very nice and well rounded so now if we go to our UV texture editor we can see that this is our design right here that the layout is on the 2D format and whatnot so and we could do and if we really wanted to get specific we could do an automatic projection to this cube and we could unwrap it and do all that stuff but we're going to focus primarily on the mapping and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hide Maya right now. I'm going to go to Firefox and I'm going to type in, let's say, some textures. So how about we go with maybe a simple, you know, dice texture of some sort. All right, so I found this uh, image right here. And as you can see, it's a fairly, really nice looking, you know, design. And I think I'm going to go with it. So let's uh, bring this out to our um, desktop and then let's go back into Maya. Okay, so as usual, we have to apply this texture to our, you know, design, to our, ma to our map. So to our object, I meant, sorry. So as usual, just go to assign new material, holding down the right cl uh, click, and then assign to, uh, I guess a Lambert would be, you know, preferable. That's your basic standard, um, you know, texture and whatnot. So, okay, so for this, we're gonna go to our color tab, cl uh, click on the checkered board right here, press file, okay. And then right now we have basically our, you know, object in white. So you just, uh, if you want to go into textured mode you just press 6 on your uh, keyboard. So now we have a textured object. Now we have you know an applied object but we still need to reference our photo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to image name so we're gonna click this folder right here and then we're gonna go to our desktop and select the photograph and open it. And there we go. Okay, so now we have applied this texture to our map. So now let's go back into our attribute editor and select that. And now we can see that we have this all set and ready to go. Now, of course, you know, there are things we can do to probably, you know, probably make this a little bit better as far as the texturing wise. We can probably, you know, move some, you know, we can move some things around. We could probably twist this a bit and whatnot because 
it looks for me right now that it doesn't look a it looks you know a little funky. So what we can do is we can go to face mode and then see what objects or what um, you know faces we can select in order to do that. So right now we have selected ooh we selected a bunch of those. So let's get back and see what we can do. Let's see if, let's see about trying to I guess select this. All right, so this is for this phase. So why don't we move that? So let's go back into here, go to U, go to UVs, and for a shortcut, you can do this. You can hold shift, you can I'm gonna hold control and right click and then to shell. And then you can move it. So now we can move this along and such. So that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool, but for now I think we're just gonna leave it like that. And such. So that's pretty good. Um, but, but there are also many other textures we can apply to this. I mean, this is just a ran this is just a random texture that we have applied on here. We could also, you know, get away with probably adding maybe a, you know, if this was like a box, or if this was a metal, I guess a metal crate. You know, we could get away with that as well. So you're not necessarily just limited to this stuff. So why don't we jump right back into our um, internet browser and see about a box texture or a cardboard box texture of some sort. So something like this. How about that? And then let's make this a large. And let's see. You know, you can find, you can go around and see what you can find as far as, you know, what textures you would want. Uh, here's a nice cardboard one. We can always use that. That's always preferable. Um, try to always select photographs that have a, you know, that have a high resolution to it. Um, because otherwise, you know, you don't want to spend, you know, too much, you don't want to have something that doesn't, uh, look like that. See, this is kind of something what I would be sort of trying to create. Something like this. Like, if you can find textures like this and go with that, then you're all set. So, um, but for now... Let's just c continue to stick with the, uh, I guess, basics. And this looks pretty good. You know, this is something you'd probably find on a box. So, all right, so let me just get out of this, hide that, drag this photo on here, and then let's go back into Maya, and then why don't we try to, I guess, apply, assign a different texture to it. Um, before I do, I'm gonna delete the history, so our thing doesn't bog down. Okay, so what we can do is break the connection, right click. So now we don't have a texture on it anymore. So now we can assign a new one. Okay, so let's go back into here, assign this box texture here, and there we go. Now, keep in mind that this isn't necessarily, you know, the, you know, this isn't necessarily the thing you would want to do if you are trying to apply. This is just for, you know, pure example. But what we can do is we can minimize, you know, we can minimize it, the image in some sort. So why don't we try this? So all we have to do is basically go into our object and then go into Lambert, not Lambert, go into our, you know, uh, settings here. And we could, you know, kill the offset. We could change it a bit. We could change it up a bit. So we could change it like that. You know, add, we could move it around. So let's say we wanted to add this over to here. So then when we change it around, we have it like something like that. But that's not the only thing you can do. You know, there's plenty of other things. There's plenty of other ways of manipulating the dimensions to where you can get it exactly how you want it. Um, and whatnot. So uh, let's see. That's the repeat. Oops, I accidentally pressed that one. So why don't we go back into here, and then why don't we just uh, basically try to manipulate this? Now, how if you want to know how the heck I'm doing this, all I'm doing is basically holding down Control and then select, and then highlighting this, and then moving my mouse left and right. That's all I'm doing while holding uh, the left click. So that's all I'm doing because it makes it a lot easier than having to type in numbers because then you can actually see it in real time. You can actually see what the heck you're actually manipulating on this texture. And this is a really cool thing. And this is, I think this is really neat. Okay, but enough of this. Why don't we actually try to see if we can find a texture uh, like a dice. So then we can apply it 
to this. So I'm going to actually pause it and see if I can find one and then I will get back to you when I have. So when I have accomplished that. So pause it right now and we'll see what will go on from there. Okay, so I found a nice texture of a dice and it's pretty good. Now I don't really prefer the color, so but this is a fixable thing because you can actually go into Photoshop and tweak this out. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this into Photoshop. And I already opened it up and got this started. So let's see if we can just go into our basic hue and saturation and see about trying to change the colors. So um, instead of this, why don't we just play around and see what we can do. Uh, that seems like a nice red or a nice blue or a nice, you know, purple. You know, you can go with any color you want. You can tweak that up a bit, you can make it darker, you can make it brighter, dimmer, anything. So um, that wasn't necessarily the color I wanted to go with. So I'll just go back in here and just tweak that up. Let's see, how about a, how about a nice red? You know, a nice red. That'd be kind of cool if we have like a red dye. So, and now he, the little dots right here are basically, you know, you can tweak this out even more, like if you wanted to. If you wanted to add more dots to this, you could just size down your brush to the appropriate size. So that's about good. That's about right. And then basically just make some dots and there you go. Um, you could probably, what you would have to do is you would have to take your brush and do something like that, you know. If you wanted to go a little smaller, uh, that's a good size, you know, if you wanted to do that. You know, you can make your own texture with it. You can just, you know, apply any texture you want. You know, this is just a random photograph I found on the internet, on the web, but, you know, you can go in here and just, you know, play around with it and have fun with it. So that's, that's pretty cool. So, let me just undo all that, and why don't we save? So, let's save this as Dice Texture 1. Okay, and then, of course, we have to, you know, apply it to our, you know, to our, op to our model. Okay, so that's all good. So why don't we exit out of this and let's jump right back into Maya. Okay, so now we can probably get rid of this because I don't think we're going to meet any anymore. So let's break connection. Let's apply this photograph to our model. So let's add that red one. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now you're probably wondering, okay, so we have this dice, but all the, all this stuff is, you know, you know, everything is way off, you know, not, not even remotely close to what it looks like. Well, that's where the power of basically you're going into your attribute at your UV texture editor and manipulating all the objects. So basically, if you want, you can just select that, select which face, and then you can find out what you want on the thing. So let's see, why don't we add, um, let's see, for this top layer, why don't we just add basically the one. Okay, so let's move this select this piece okay and then to select the entire thing hold control right click to shell and you got it so now you just have to figure out exactly which piece you are moving so this would be the bottom piece alright so let's move that to the side alright and then let's select this object again to select the shell and of course where we have our dot. So well, let's see if we can probably straighten that out a bit. Before we do, let's see if we can uh, select that shell, move that out of the way. Now we can select this and uh, you know center it up a bit. It's pretty good. Okay, so why don't we just twist that around? Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so next thing we want to do is how will we tackle this? Okay, so this is going to probably be I don't know the five. All right, so why don't we just take that, select the shell. Oops. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. Operator error there. Okay, so select the UVs, select that, and then hold down Control, and then right-click to shell, and we have this. Okay, so now we can move this to its appropriate position. So now just kind of eyeball it, um, you know, see if it centers in fairly nicely. You can, you know, just kind of trial and error. Just make sure it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's about that's about right. 
So, okay, so now we have that. Now we have a bunch of empty space right here. So, why don't we try to figure, you know, let's get this spot right here. So, to make it a little easier, you can just select which face it goes on. So, we can just select this one. And then go to UV, select that, hold control to shell, and then we can, you know, go our way. So, that's pretty good right there. Kind of eyeball it, see if it matches up right. So about right there. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, so now we just gotta finish the rest of this rest of this, you know, little dice. Okay, so now we have to figure out which face is this one. This one would be that one, obviously. So select this. Pretty self-explanatory. You know, not nothing too difficult. Okay, so you know, we just kind of have to time it right, not time it right, but kind of just adjust it to where it's a good size. Okay, so, you know, it's pretty good. Now it's looking pretty much like, a, you know, an actual dice. Okay, and now we have just two more pieces to fix. So let's bring this one over, and this one's probably for the bottom. Okay, so why don't we just figure we can get this part right here. And let's see, hold on. Just gotta fix that part right here. Kind of eye, you know. I'm just, I'm just eyeballing it. You know, I have to, you know, you have to play around with it sometimes because if he doesn't, you know, line up correctly, then you know it's gonna look a little odd. It's gonna look a little off. So, okay. So pretty much, you know, we have our official die right here. So we have the one, we have the two, the three, the four, and the five and the six. So. And that's pretty. That's pretty much, you know, all that you really have to do for this. And you know, you can apply this sort of texture to anything else. I mean, if you really want, if you wanted to, I guess, make it bigger or add, you know, an offset to it, you could just go into your texture right here, and then you know, go into your uh, place to D, place 2D texture, and then just play around with the offset and whatnot. So, but that's pretty much all there is to this so good luck with it try it yourself and see if you can do the same and if you have any questions let me know so this is pretty much your basic guide to UV mapping of still life objects and I will see you in the next tutorial so take care